What's up, what's up, what's up? Now, I just want to share something with you guys, man, that's circulating around the nets at the moment, man. If you are here in New Zealand, you are aware of it locally, what's been happening across the nets. And if you haven't, then, bro, where you been, son? Where you been? No. Um, what I want to share right now was, um, I've never heard of this guy, never heard of this Muppet until now. Uh, so his name is Bob Jones. And I've labelled it, or titled it, as the debates over freedom of speech versus hate speech. So that was quoted by Kate Hawksby. Where, whoever you are, Kate Hawksby. But yeah, like I said, man. Okay, so today's subject is basically something that I want to talk about that's circulating around the nets here locally. Uh, if you have never been, like if you've never heard what's going on, then bruh, where you been? Like for me, I don't really care about politics, man. Because I don't even know if the politicians care about us, normal people. You know, middle working class people. But this right now has been a controversial kind of subject. And that's what I just want to share and talk about. Okay, so like I said, man, if you are unaware of what's going on, you know, there's a massive controversial going on, a massive controversial statement that's going around. From this guy named Sir Robert Edward Jones. A.K.A. A.K.A. Sir Bob Jones. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Is that your name? Okay, yeah. No. But I want to share with you guys, man, what he's quoted. So these are words that's been quoted by him, Sir Bob Jones, as well as other people. So what I want to share right now is that, okay. So I've been reading and doing a little bit of research what's going on back and forth between this guy and other people signing the whole petition and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so what I want to read now is something that's fuming us Kiwis out there as well as Maldives, Polynesians and Pakeas and etc. across New Zealand. Okay, so this Muppet's name, Bob Jones. Please don't sue me, son. Don't sue me, cuss. What he writes, or what he said, sorry, uh, so this is him, I speak in third person perspective from him, he quoted it, blah blah blah. I have in mind a public holiday where Maldives bring us breakfast in bed or weed our gardens, wash and polish our cars, and so on, out of gratitude for existing. I'll read it again. I have in mind a public holiday where Maldives bring us breakfast in bed or weed our gardens, wash and polish our cars, and so on, out of gratitude for existing. What kind of bullshit is that? You bloody muppets. The hell is that? So he said it around Waitangi Day. Waitangi Day, like, bruh, are you freaking dumb? Mate. So what I'm saying is that, what kind of bullshit is that? The meaning Maldives, the meaning Maldi culture, especially on Waitangi Day where... That in itself is a historic, historic moment. Sorry, fobbing out. Historic moment as well as a, as a controversial one, and you want to take the Mickey or you know make a joke about it. Are you freaking stupid? Like, bruh, the status and the reputation that you hold, you want to make a bloody joke about that? Are you freaking dumb? So, as carry on. In the position that you have and hold, of course, people are going to take that to offence. They're going to take that seriously. You bloody muppets. you gotta, you got to be an absolute stupid. Who knighted this muppets? Who knighted him? Bloody muppets. So, okay, so he was knighted for his work in the community. In, in the community, sorry. I've never heard of him, so I don't even know who the hell he is until now. I have never heard of this guy. Props to whatever he has done in the community. You know, I give you props. But right now, the main subject and the focus is on what you said. Bloody Muppets. So I quote from him, himself. In the column, Sir Bob claimed since there was no pure blood Māori left in the culture of Māori's, should bring us breakfast in bed or weed our gardens out of gratitude for existing. Do you want fries with that? Or do you want a knock to the head? Bloody Muppets. Um, 
That, again, I could say that that's a bloody racist. Racist kind of remark. You know, from the structure and the status that he holds, whatever he's knighted for, you want to make remarks about that? You bloody muppets. Okay, I'll go on. Sir Bob Jones threatens legal ac actions legal actions against anti-racist petition. You know, you really think that the people was going to ignore that? You dumbass. Okay, so what he quoted, I'm quoting off him. For God's sake, if anyone can take that literally, they've got a serious problem. He said, it's basically a mickey take on issues of the day. Are you bloody dumb? You bloody muppets, son. So he's trying to play the victim in this game right now. He's trying to play the victim, saying that people are bullying him, etc., etc. I quote, I will be issuing procedures against this woman for defamation because I take particular exceptions when she uses the word hate. I don't hate anyone. You know, for remarks like that that he's making, of course, he's saying that, you know, he doesn't hate people, but just the whole subject on it, the dumbasses, you know, demeaning Māori culture on Waitangi Day. You bloody muppets. I was going to swear there, but I hold my tongue, yo. Okay, so I go on and said, Breakfast in bed. Come on now. Grow up. We're going to serve notice on her. So that's him, you know, saying that he wants to sue this lady. I'll go on to say who this lady is. Obviously, I've, I'd have i been seen as a bully. If I sue her for a million dollars, so I'll sue her to say 20000 and she can have a day in her court. Have a day in court. Are you dumb? You're playing the bloody victim, you dumbass. Okay. I go on. When asked if he is feared for his knight's hood, Sir Bob dismissed the possibility of losing him. I can tell you right now, it's not going to happen. You may as well ask me if I would be upset if my head fell off. You know, that's, again, that's, that's pretty stupid. Like, saying that, he knows that his knighthood, he won't lose it. But making remarks like that in the position that he holds, you got to be the biggest muppets here in New Zealand at the moment, you dumbass. So Mr. Bob here is playing the victim. You know, saying that he's been bullied. You made a racist remark, you muppets. Of course, people are going to react. So filmmaker Renee Mahi has voiced out, Acclaimed filmmaker Renee Mahi started the Change.org petition on Thursday morning. There is a public support for this. Somebody can't get away with hate speech like that and not be accounted for. So I agree what she's saying. I agree what she's saying. You know, saying that the position that he holds, you know, you got to have consequences that come for what your action's about. You know, if that's us normal people out here in the streets, man, of course that the consequences will come for the actions that we do. You know, you're no different, bruh. You shit the same as us. You sleep the same as us. So that again, I want to... So she goes on saying, she's quoting from him. I have I have in mind a public holiday where Maldives bring us breakfast in bed or weed our gardens, wash and polish our cars and so on, out of gratitude for existing. Jones also commented on children, blood, and suicide, you know, those subjects, I, you know, the whole word of um, suicide, you know, that, to me, that's a touchy subject. You know, that's, I've lost friends to um, suicide. I've lost family members to suicide. So, you know, him going on about that, he's got to be the most, he's a, he's a bloody dickhead. Okay, so go on. My, Mahi is upset by what Jones has said, you know, of course, everyone is all upset. You know, it's time for a troll. He's he's trying to say that Waitangi Day should be another day where it's it's recorded as a gratitude day. You know, a gratitude day instead of Waitangi Day. You bloody muppets. So Sir Bob Joes has threatened local actions against filmmaker Renee Mahi after she started a petition to have him stripped of his knighthood. Some 4,000 signatures have reportedly endorsed the change, blah, blah, blah. And another thing I want to talk about is 
relating to this topic, topic um, who hates Hawksbeam. I don't know if she supports this guy, this bloody Muppet, but I quote from her. Sign what you like, but you won't get Bob's, Bob Jones stripped of his knighthood. And she goes on saying, boom, just like that, the debate over freedom of speech versus hate speech has reunited over a column penned by the notoriously controversial Sir Bob Jones. You know, her herself, mate, girl, get out of here, bruh. You hangy pants. So, I don't know if she agrees or disagrees of what he's been saying. You know, and then she goes on saying, anyway, the upshot is we have a petition, a petition to strip him of his knighthood. It's been signed by some 4,000 people, or as Sir Bob will call them, as losers. His night ward was awarded to him for service to business management and community and community in nineteen eighty nine. You uh, thirty years ago, blah blah blah. Who whoopy whoopy do? We're talking about now, is that calling us losers? Are you bloody dumb? This Kate Hawksby lady is probably as stupid as him. I don't know if he's trying to do this as a public stunt, or whatever, or. He's getting off on that, but what I'm saying is that it's it's, a, it's freaking stupid, what he, the remarks that he has done, and and for him to not be accountable for what he's talking about, then bro, you gotta. That there's no equal, there's no equally as in us people and him. So that's what I just want to share with you guys, man. And as I quote from her again, and now there's ten. A thousand of people want that taken off him. Well, it's just not going to happen. Petitions are a good way of venting your spleen or exercising, exercising your outrage or the way into a signature, but they don't affect real change. That is pretty bullshit. So what she's saying is that he can still talk a whole lot of bullshit and not be accountable for what he's saying. So... You know, that's that's pretty dumb itself. You know, it's, that's pretty stupid. So he's playing the victim game. You know, saying that he's been bullied and all that kind of stuff and want to sue uh, Renee Mahi, you know, just for the remarks that he did. You bloody muppets. 